welcome to the 15th lecture of power system here we are going to discuss the capacitance calculation for bundle conductors so we have already seen that when you have a con bundle conductors then the conductors in one bundle are in parallel and charge per bundle will divide equally between the conductors of the bundle so the bundle conductors can be formed by having two conductors three conductors or four conductors now here whenever you have one bundle and when you have the conductors they are connected in parallel so all the conductors in a particular phase of a bundle are in parallel and the charge that you have on the bundle will divide equally so you have you will be dividing equally the charge between the bundle so if there are two conductors in a bundle if the net charge is q then in the bundle the charge will be divided with half q by 2 q by 2 now these two conductors will be in parallel these two conductors will be in parallel so these two conductors will be parallel and the charge will be dividing each other now here let us see one diagram where you have three phase conductors and two conductors are there in the bundle so the conductor a and a dash form one phase and the conductor b and b dash form other phase that is the second phase and conductor c and c dash form the other phase that is the third phase so these all single phase conductors are generally having two conductor two conductor in a bundle so a a dash are forming one bundle b b dash is forming the other phase of the bundle c and c dash is forming the third phase of the bundle the distance of separation small d between the bundles conductors are equal and the center to center distance between the two phases between the two phases are d12 between phase a and phase b d23 between the phase b and c and d31 that is the phase between a and c now we know that in bundle conductor the separation will usually be 15 times more than the conductor of the bundle so d that is the distance of separation between the bundle is very very greater than the distance d which is 15 times so here the meaning is that the distance of separation between the bundles are quite more as compared to the conductors of the bundle now here as we know that the distance of separation d12 that is between the phase a and the phase b so this is the phase a this is phase b the distance of separation d12 is very very greater than the distance of separation between the individual elements of the bundle then the d12 can be used for d12 plus d so this distance d is very small as compared to d12 so d12 plus minus d distance can be considered as the distance d12 so this assumption we are going to do while calculating now we have seen that the charge on phase a if we consider as qa then if you have two conductor in charge phase a one is a and another is a dash here we have considered QA. So the charge will be equally divided QA by 2. Here the charge will be QA by 2. Similarly, in B phase, if we consider the charge to be QB, then it has to be QB by 2 and QB by 2. Similarly, for the third phase, then the voltage of AB, that is the between phase A and B, and we know that the general formula for voltage is 1 by 2 pi epsilon you have a charge q into ln of capital d by r 
okay this is the general format formula for the voltage so we will set the bundle conductor formula in this fundamental formulas so here the potential between a b will be 1 by 2 pi epsilon now you have three phases so this is for phase a this is for phase b and this is for phase c so let us see the phase a so when you have a phase a so the charge on individual bundle conductor will be qa by 2 because there are two elements in a bundle and each charge is qa by 2 so we can take a charge qa by 2 in b phase we can take q by qb by 2 and here we can take qc by 2 now there are two conductors in a bundle okay so the distance that you have for the a will be ln d12 by r so this is gmd by gmr so you have to see what is the gmd and what is the gmr so gmr is basically the radius of the conductor and gmd is the distance 1 2 that is between the phase a between the phase a and the phase b now here similarly a dash when we take it then it will be d12 by small d d12 by small d because when you have two conductors then the distance between these is small d and the center to center distance is having d12 and we have already seen that we have already made an assumption d12 plus minus d will be equal to d12 so this assumption and seeing this diagram we can have the voltage of ab with a phase b phase and c phase so similarly in the b phase we will have one conductor b another conductor b dash similarly in the third phase we will have one conductor c and the other conductor c dash so after seeing the geometry we can see that qb by 2 is the charge on the second phase qc by 2 is the charge on the third phase and the distance is ln of r by d12 that is gmd by gmr ln of d by d12 here ln of d23 by d31 and ln of d23 by d31 so this uh, geometry we have to see to find the potential vab between the two phase a and b and a is again divided into a and a dash b phase is again divided into b and b dash so seeing the geometry we can find the potential so when we combine the terms equal terms when we combine then we can have this is for charge qa that is the a phase this is for charge qb and this is for charge qc that you have and 1 by 2 pi epsilon will come outside so this term that you have is for the a phase this term is for the b phase and this term we are getting for the c phase so we have three terms in calculating the potential av and we have taken the common term out then the we know that the capacitance is divided is equal to q by v so q equals cv so capacitance is equal to q by v so if we divide it with uh, the charge so we are getting 2 pi epsilon ln of d equivalent by rd so this is the most general formula for the capacitance here only one thing that you have to calculate is what is d equivalent in this case so for the bundle conductors you have to calculate the d equivalent so once you calculate the d equivalent it will be easy for you to set the value of the capacitance so let us calculate the gmr of the bundle conductor so if we consider the radius of each conductor is small r and the effective radius or the gmr gmr the other term of gmr is effective radius so is capital r then we can obtain so let us consider this one first which is having a one conductor in a phase so your gmr and the radius of the conductor will be equal if you have one conductor in a phase then the gmr and the radius of the conductor will be equal if you have two conductor in a phase which forms a bundle then we are dividing the charge into half and half then the gmr or the effective radius is under root r into d 
if you have three conductors in a bundle then this is divided by 1 by 3 for each charge and the GMR is the cube root of under root R into D square. If you have four conductors which form a one phase of a three phase system with four conductors in a bundle then the GMR of the conductor is in this form. So having seen the geometry of the system we can calculate the GMR of the bundle conductors and when we have calculated the GMR it will be easy to find the capacitance. So the general form of the capacitance is 2 pi epsilon ln of GMD by GMR right. So this one ln of GMD by GMR. So here D equivalent we can calculate easily that is under cube root. However, the GMR of the conductor we have to calculate for when we have 2 strand, 3 strand or 4 strand. So when you have 2 strand or the 2 conductors in a bundle which is divided by charge with Q by 2 and Q by 2 for a phase A or you can have the 3 conductor in a bundle or you can have 4 conductor in a bundle. So whether you have 2 conductor, 3 conductor or 4 conductor all the charges will be equally divided and based on this the general formula for capacitance will remain the same 2 pi epsilon ln of GMD by GMR and the GMR of the conductor you have to calculate based on the geometry of the system. So that completes the calculation of capacitance for the bundle conductors. Thank you.